Uh, hello, my name's uh, Stephen Marnie. I'm a physiotherapist from, from Brisbane. Uh, my business is called Tenerife Physiotherapy. Patrick from Nordic Academy asked if me if I was happy to uh, do a short video testimonial um, regarding the business and I, I was happy to oblige. I um, just want to state that I'm not getting anything in return for providing the video for, for Patrick and Marie. Um, I've only just recently started with uh, Nordic Walking as part of our business. We, we hosted a, a training course for instructors here at, the, at our premise and uh, um, I've just started with teaching with patients as well as doing the Nordic Walking myself. Um, I find it to be a very enjoyable activity. Myself and my wife go out Nordic Walking each weekend now and, and um, I find that going for a normal walk seems a bit boring now. It's much more interesting with the poles and um, technically a little bit of a, bit of a challenge and at the end of the walk I do feel a lot better in myself that I've had a, a more even workout through my body. Um, my back doesn't feel as, as stiff and achy at the end of a walk. In fact, it feels really good. Um, overall, I've been very impressed with Patrick and Marie. They, they're very committed to the business. They're very helpful and enthusiastic. They've already laid a lot of the groundwork for you if you want to take on Nordic walking as part of your physio business or as a separate business. So they have um, some business building marketing material that you can also purchase once you've, you've completed your training course. And, and I did that and I, I passed it on to my uh, website host and um, yeah, she was quite impressed. It had all the information and details that, that she was after. Um, as far as the, the poles themselves, the one-way poles that we've purchased through Patrick Marie are very good quality poles. They're really good to use and all the patients have been very impressed that, that the manufacturing quality, the finish of them is very good. So we haven't really had anybody sort of balk at the, the price of the poles um, to this point in time. Um, as far as the, the patient population goes, uh, there's an immediate and, and very obvious appeal to uh, many of the over 50s. Uh, if you have degenerative joints or chronic tendinopathy, they find that they can't walk as much as they would like to or exercise as much as they would want to. And this just gives them a new lease on life. They can walk up hills again, whereas they couldn't before. They can keep up with their husband where they, if they go for a walk where they couldn't before. Um, so it's a, it's a very easy sell to that population group. They see the appeal straight away. Um, I also see a lot of potential in our business on the orthopaedic side, particularly with the lower limb injuries, who may be transitioning from non and partial weight bearing and they're allowed now to weight bear as tolerated. And there might be sort of at least a three or four week window there where they're allowed to go out and start exercising and they're very keen to but they just can't do that full weight bearing um, at that time because they, they, they don't have the, uh, the strength or the weight bearing tolerance and they get too many symptoms from it. So we're going to start using the poles uh, perhaps as a higher out arrangement to those people and they can obviously buy it if they want to um, for, for that period to help them get mobile again. Um, from the business side of things, uh, you can make a little bit of money selling the poles, which is, which is great. I tend to find that most of the patients are going to need three or four uh, instruction or treatment sessions at least to get them to a level where they're happy and I'm happy that they're, they're um, fine to go off and start walking themselves. Um, I think a lot of patients may also want to come back and do a little bit more refresher from, from time to time. I think it depends on how far you want to take it with your business. If you want to organise like regular weekly walks for those people who've been through your training, I think that, that can work very well to keep them committed, to keep them motivated and doing the Nordic walking and, uh, and also keeps them in touch with, with your business and you can sort of keep an eye on their technique a little bit along the way. Um, I think that uh, um, there's also a benefit from the business side to us because we have, we have limited space in our practice and um, while one of the physios or two of the physios can be in the practice working and treating patients, uh, I can then go out to the park and do the Nordic walking and it's still basically billable time um, for the business but it's not actually costing us any extra rent, we're not having to compromise on uh, reducing the number of uh, treatment times we have available for patients in the rooms um, but it's then obviously still bringing in um, a significant amount of income to the business without any extra uh, or significant extra um, admin time. So um, it's obviously a benefit if you've got a park very close to the practice that you can, you can go to to um, to teach people and it doesn't waste too much of your, of your time from, from some, um, getting there and getting back. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it in a nutshell at the moment. That's, that's um, what I can tell you about Nordic Walking and Nordic Academy. But we're very happy to, to take it on as part of the business. We think it's going to really help, be helpful in the future. Um, and uh, you know, I encourage you to, to go through the, the training with, with Patrick and Marie and, uh, and look at taking it on. Thank you.